Today, we're gonna take a look at why and how you should use a matte box and the effect that filters have on your image, which is something we've wanted to hit on for a while now. And like our emotion of color episode, this is gonna be more of us doing camera tests publicly. So we're gonna take a look at the different filters and compare them to the clean image to see what we're getting in the end. And before we get into that, let's take a look at the matte box that we're gonna be using. And it's this one right here. The Small Rig Lightweight Matte Box 2660. And Small Rig is a partner on this episode. They did send this to us to check out, but I'm excited to show it to you on the show because this is a crazy solid matte box that has the low price tag of just $99. And it looks really slick too, which I mean, if we're being honest, that's one of the best parts about a matte box. It just looks cool. You put it on and suddenly it makes you feel like you're making a movie. I, I, know, I know you know what I mean. But the most obvious and practical use is blocking light from hitting the lens and creating unwanted flares. Just the box on its own, of course, is incredibly helpful, but you also have this removable carbon fiber top flag up here for more coverage. And we can take a look here to see why this is so important. If you get too much of that light in your lens, it ends up fogging out your footage and completely kills your contrast. And more often than not, we don't want that, at least not in this way. So you use the flag to shade your lens from the light and you're good. We also have an interchangeable mounting system here. So you have a 114 millimeter clamp that allows you to mount directly onto your 114 millimeter cinema lenses. And it also comes with 67, 72, 77, and 82 millimeter adapter rings. You can also get a 95 millimeter adapter as well, but that comes separately. But this makes it really versatile since you can do everything from using it on a photo lens up to your cinema lenses. So I screw the ring right onto my lens and then I slide the matte box on and tighten it down right here. And I can have these adapters on different lenses and easily shift between them. You can also utilize the quarter 20 mount at the bottom to support the matte box with the lens rods if you want. Though one of my favorite aspects to this is how lightweight it is at just 238 grams and you can mount it right to the lens and you stay very run and gun, which as you know, is something I love to do. Now, one of the main perks of any matte box and what this episode is all about are filters. And that's another area we have a perk with this system. With this, you're getting two filter slots so you can stack using NDs to knock down your light or an ND in effect like ProMist or similar. And you aren't stuck with just one size. You can have both four by 5.6 filters and four by four filters. Another option to keep you versatile and four by four filters do tend to be a little bit cheaper so that can be helpful as well. To load them, you pop open the tray here and you slide your filter in. Then we'll secure them here with the independent thumb screws and shut our tray so the filter filters are really secure in this system, which is something I very much appreciate since some filters can get very expensive. Now a small thing, but one that I love is this little notch here so you can pop your filters out without getting any fingerprints on them. We can also utilize these four quarter 20 mounts up here for additional accessories. So all in all, I'm really impressed by this little lightweight matte box, 